Welcome to previous year paper solution class. In the today's class, we are going to solve Telecom Gate 2018 Signal and System PYQs. So let us see the very first question. The first question in front of your screen. Let x of k is equal to k plus 1, where k is greater than or equal to 0, less than or equal to 7, be 8 point DFT of sequence x of n, where x of k is equal to summation n is equal to 0 to n minus 1, x of n into e to the power minus j 2 pi n k by n. The value correct to two decimal places of summation n is equal to 0 to 3, x of 2n is dash. Now this question is a little bit interesting because DFT signal is given, time domain signal is not given. And what they are asking us is about time domain signal only. So which concept you are going to use? Sir, DFT is given, time domain signal is asked, IDFT concept? Yes, inverse a DFT concept will help you to get the answer. So I will give you exactly 1 minute 30 seconds to solve this question. Think, calculate, use formula, simplify, get the answer. Four terms you need. Which are the four terms? So do the expansion of this function. You will get those four terms. x of 0, x of 2, x of 4, x of 6. Get those four terms. Solve, get the answer. Last 15 seconds to go. Telecom paper questions are actually good questions. You will get little bit level up questions. So 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, done. So the time is up. Now it's my time to solve this NAT question. Let us see the solution. So the first point is inverse uh, DFT concept says use capital X of K because it is given and find time domain signal small x of N using the formula of IDFT. And in our question, what we need is summation n is equal to 0 to 3, small x of 2n, correct? So when n is 0, this signal becomes x of 0. When n is 1, the signal becomes x of 2. Similarly, when n is 2, signal becomes x of 4. When n is 3, signal becomes x of 6. Now you need these four terms to get the answer. And I know a lot of students have got this four terms using the IDFT concept and they were saying sir this question is very lengthy it cannot be solved in 1 minute 30 seconds yes because this is method 1 if you are using this kind of standard solution standard method to get the answer and it will take surely 2 minute uh, 30 seconds or more than that then what to do Sarji there is another way to solve this question and you might be thinking what can be the another way method 2 is a tricky way to get this terms because at the end if you need the answer of this function you need this four terms and if you need this four terms so one of the way was IDFT the other way is a tricky way the tricky way is since in the question one formula was given what was the formula the formula we use in DFT is uh, capital X of K is equal to summation n is going from 0 to n minus 1 small x of n into e to the power minus j 2 pi k small n by capital N. Capital N here is 8 because 8 point DFT is used. Now check it out. If I substitute k is 0 in this formula, what will happen? Sir, if you substitute k is 0 in the formula, then capital X of 0 is now equal to summation n is going from 0 to capital N is 8, so 8 minus 1 becomes a 7, then small x of n, since k is 0, e to the power 0 becomes 1, correct? So finally, I can say this is my resultant. Check it out. Do you know all these players? If I do the expansion, do you know when n is 0, what is small x of 0? No, Sarji, we do not know. Similarly, if I substitute n is 1, do you know this signal? No. Let us do the expansion. What happens here? Sir, x of 4, x of 5, x of 6, and finally, x of 7. Hush. Correct? x of 7. Now, check it out. Your requirement is 0 plus x of 2 plus x of 4, x of 6. And here, you are getting x of 0 plus x of 1 and so on and so forth. You might be thinking, you might be thinking, Sir, I need only 4 term. What is the use of getting all these 8 terms? The point is, now, substitute k is equal to 4 
again in this formula and see the magic. If I substitute k is equal to 4, then capital X of 4 is equal to summation n is going from 0 to 7, x of n into here. When k is substituted 4 and capital N is 8, this 4 into 2, 8, uh, this 8 gone. e to the power minus j pi n left, which is nothing but minus 1 to the power n, correct? Which is minus 1 to the power n. Now, do the expansion and see the magic. Let me copy this part to the next slide and see the magic. If I do the expansion, when n is 0, what will happen to this signal? Sir, when n is 0, this is 1, this is x of 0. Okay. When n is 1, this thing is uh, x of 1. This thing is negative 1. Because this is negative 1, this positive would be changed to negative. Correct? Now, when n is 2, what I will get is x of 2 here 2 minus 1 to the power e1 positive 1 so this would be a positive signal only and now you can see the pattern positive negative positive so next term would be negative then next term would be positive next term would be negative next term would be positive and finally next term would be negative correct if i tell you now this is my equation 1 this is my equation 2 now add equation 1 with equation 2 what will happen? Left hand side is the DFT signals which will get added as capital X of 0 plus capital X of 4. Right hand side, if you see carefully, then cancellation will happen, surely. X of 1 minus X of 1, gone. Or all the odd terms, X of 3 minus X of 3, gone. Correct? And all the even terms like X of 0, X of 2, they would be twice while addition, see? 2 times x of 2 and all the odd players x of 5 minus x of 5 they would be vanished if that is the case can i say my resultant answer would be twice of all the even players x of 0 plus x of 2 plus x of 4 plus x of 6 if yes don't you feel this is what i needed go back and check what was my requirement my requirement was this function which is this player this player similarly similar yes let us rearrange and let us comment now therefore if i rearrange uh, x of 0 plus x of 2 plus x of 4 plus x of 6 is actually equal to this stuff capital x of 0 plus capital x of 4 divide by 2 correct this 2 will go to the denominator so divide by 2 now therefore this thing is nothing but uh, summation n is going from 0 to 3 x of 2n and what about this player sir this player can be found uh, by the given data check it out what is the given data capital x of k is equal to k plus 1 okay 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 capital x of k since capital x of k is equal to k plus 1 can i say when k is 0 this function becomes a 0 plus 1 which is 1 when k is 4 this function is 4 plus 1 which is 5 and then divide by 2 so 6 by 2 the answer is 3 that fast you can get the answer provided you know this kind of analysis trick okay otherwise you have method 1 to use the idft concept to get each and every term and then comment on the answer but what i did here is i use the dft formula only okay i use the dft formula i substituted k is 0 got my first uh, equation substituted k is 4 got my second equation because i know that uh, this is how i know that positive this is a trick also given in my previous classes in dft the first signal at k is equal to 0 it is always a summation of the given uh, time domain signals as you can see summation of all the players and when you do n by 2 if it was 4 point then 4 by 2 x of 2 right here it is 8 point so 8 by 2 which is 4 right so that uh, capital x of 4 will always have the plus minus fashion x of 0 positive then negative for positive negative positive negative in this way so this is the trick used in the dft almost in all question i try to use this trick the k0 function all positive the n by 2 positive negative so i use that trick to get the answer
So I hope you understood this first question, very easy question. Now let us see the second question. So the second question in front of the screen. The second question is one of my favorite because based on the basics. A lot of students never study the basics. Check it out. Let the input be u and the output be y of the system. And the other parameters are real constants. Identify which among the following system is a not a linear system. Not a linear. Now first one is kind of a differential equation. So in the engineering mathematics also I have told you three steps to identify whether the differential equation is a linear or a nonlinear. Same concept you have to use to check here whether it is linear or nonlinear. And check it out your requirement is the system should be a nonlinear system in four option one system would be a nonlinear system and that would be the correct answer. But when I see option A, option A the coefficients are constants, right? The powers of the derivative is 1. And also, this uh, y has power 1, y has power 1, this u has power 1, u has power 1. So the three steps which are used in checking linear differential equation, I use that three steps again. For those students who do not know the three steps, visit the engineering mathematics course. I have explained in the differential equation uh, chapter. So yes, by that three step, this is a linear differential equation. So a linear system, a linear system. So this is not the correct option. Then B, C, D, you have to check and then you have to comment on the answer. But when you see the option Bombay, it seems like convolution. Yes or no? It's a convolution between the two signal. And if you are doing convolution between the two signal, obviously those systems are LTI system. So if it is LTI, this means it's a linear system. Okay, so B is also a linear system. Now C or D, definitely one culprit is there. So you have to check who is the culprit, you will get the answer. Okay, I will give you 15 seconds, check it out. Okay, so the time is up. The right answer is, uh, who is the culprit? Uh, sir, the culprit is Calcutta. Okay, it is not LTI. Now why? F option A, it is a linear differential equation. So linear system. This, this is nothing but the convolution concept. So convolution always says that uh, it happens in LTI system. Okay, so linear also and time uh, invariant also. Then uh, Calcutta Delhi, let us focus on Calcutta, option C. If I focus on option C, option C is uh, y is equal to au plus b. If my input is u1, then what is my output y1 that is equal to au1 plus b. If my input is u2, what is my output y2 is equal to au2 plus b. Okay, so let us see y dash now. y dash is not the derivative. y dash is just the summation of y1 plus y2. So if I do the summation of them, uh, a is a constant outside u1 plus u2 and then uh, b plus b is a uh, to b. Okay, if my input is uh, u1 plus u2, what is my output? Let us say y double dash is the output and when my input is changed as uh, u1 plus u2, I have a times u1 plus u2 plus b correct now if i see y dash and y double dash are they same no sir g y dash y double dash they are not same as you see here 2b and b they are different therefore finally y dash is not equal to y double dash this means it is a non-linear system done non-linear system we have got it so calcutta calcutta is a non-linear system Actually, this question is very simple question, very standard question. There's no need to even solve. Once you see four option, this option is a culprit option. Okay. Verbally also you can solve in the exam, but being a teacher, I have to write each and every step so that I can make you understand why some systems are linear, why some systems are non-linear. If you even check the option Delhi, verbally you can say that um, y1 output would be a u1 and uh, y2 output would be a u2 addition of them y dash uh, would be a u1 plus a u2 y double dash uh, input uh, is changed as u1 plus u2 so a times u1 plus u2 see both of them are same if both of them are same this means uh, that your given system is a linear system agreed 
so option delhi was also a linear system this is how you can prove so finally non linear system we got in the option kolkata option kolkata is done let us see the next question so let us see the third question so the third question in front of the screen a band limited low pass signal x of t of bandwidth 5 kilohertz is sampled at sampling rate fs the signal x of t is reconstructed using the reconstruction filter h of f whose magnitude response is shown below which is like this the minimum sampling rate fs in kilohertz for perfect reconstruction of x of t is dash so this question is not that tough very simple question can be solved in 1 minute so last 30 seconds you have two step process first draw this x of t then the spectrum of the sampled signal and then use this filter reconstruct while reconstruction what is the condition as per the condition you will get the minimum sampling rate fs okay so phi Four, three, two, one, done. Okay, so let us see the solution now. The very first step is: What was the nature of the X of T? It is a band limited low pass signal working from minus five to five. Correct. Now, because the spectrum nature is not given, what we are going to do is let us assume. Let us assume an arbitrary, arbitrary. spectrum of x of t which looks like this this is our frequency f in kilohertz this is the magnitude capital x of f frequency spectrum let me take a triangular signal working from minus 5 to 5 zero low passing signal right now what we are doing is this signal is sampled at a sampling rate fs now that is the whole point what should be that sampling rate this is as the minimum sampling rate for perfect reconstruction of x of t when i say for a perfect reconstruction of x of t means there should not be any duplicate image and such uh, arrangement you have to do you can get the duplicate image if your sampling rate is not perfect therefore the question is very specific minimum sampling rate fs in kilohertz for perfect reconstruction and i will explain you diagrammatically also what they are trying to say in this question if you just know the formula if you have by hearted the formula it's a few second question but if you want to understand uh, this graphically let us shoot for the second step okay so this is the first step uh, given signal x of t the second step is the spectrum the spectrum of the sampled signal 